What's good, people? And welcome to another edition of Bring It Back. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everybody, you know what I'm saying, who show love, who subscribe, who comment, who do all that, man. I mean, I'm overwhelmed with the response I get from the videos, people saying that they like the reviews and all. And I know a lot of times a lot of people ask me questions on YouTube. And I try to get back. I get back to them. I actually, I like, get back to all the questions that I get. But YouTube glitches a lot. And I don't get a lot of y'all's questions, man. So what I did was I created a Facebook page. And it'd be easier way for people to contact me who have questions, who won't help finding certain shoes and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Ask me questions. Just talk shoes. Whatever you want to do with it, man. We'll see where the page go. But um, just search for it. It's called... Um, the Sneaker Soul on Facebook, man. Just look it up. And uh, I just started it today, matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? Just to show love, man. I'm going to be putting information on shoes where you can get shoes for cheap, where I get my shoes from, sneaker websites, when they when they post new shoes up for the low, whatever, man. I, I try to put the information on there. And the more people that uh, add the page, you know what I'm saying, the more time I put into it, you know what I'm saying, just showing love and just spreading the sneaker culture, whatever y'all want to do with it, man. So, um, just add that page, but, um, uh, tonight's going to be a special edition to bring it back since, you know what I'm saying, people have, uh, shown me love. I'm going to dedicate this one to two of the greatest players ever to play the game. So, as you can already see, the first shoe is the, uh, Air Jordan 23, uh, the last pair I won. If y'all seen the other two of my other bring it backs, I got two more pairs, but these are the black stilts. The last ones I wanted from the 23 collection. And uh, let's just get into it, man. As you can see, the upper is an all black suede material with white stitching. Kind of like a tribal pattern, man. You know what I'm saying? You got your red thread going around the bottom just above the mid so, And it's like that on both sides. Down at the bottom, you have like a hard plastic. It's going around the back, all the way to the side with the little diamond plate type of design. Um, the toe box is a suede going all the way up to the top. So you see the jump man. The other side has a 23 on it. Gold, as you can see. The thumbprint on the back, as usual. You know what I'm saying? The inside has the soft pad and ankle pad. And these shoes are really comfortable, man. 23s are one of the most comfortable Jordans. Um, on the bottom, you have the thumbprint, Jordan's thumbprint. Same thing, carbon fiber, hard plastic on top. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it for it. You know what I'm saying? On the back, you got your flap. I call it the sharp fin. And that's pretty much it, man. It's a lot of detail, but it's not a lot of detail. Let's <laughs> put it like that. Now let's take it to the feet. And here they are on feet, y'all. I must say, man, these are probably my favorite pair, but it's probably because I'm biased and I like black shoes. <laughs> I mean, it's just my thing. I like I like all black shoes, so. But let's take it from the top. Man. And, uh... You go from the front. The side. And the back. Yeah, there you go. It's Jordan. Now let's take it to the other person. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Now when I said two of the greatest players, I knew you probably could already figure it was gonna be Scottie Pippen would be the other player. Or either you read the title of the video. But um when everybody thinks about the flu game, they think about the bread twelves. But um another famous shoe from then was these, the Air Pippins. Same year that the Bread 12s came out, 1996. And uh, these were 
also won the flu game. You, if you don't believe me, check the pictures online. When when Pippen's carrying Jordan off the court, these are the shoes he had on. Let's get into it. The uh, upper is is an all new book, all the way around, just all black new book. You have your little plastic zigzag design running up the side. The midsole is a white foam running all the way on the back. You see Pip on the back. This was Scottie Pippen's sign for his shoes. You got air written in cursive around the midsole. You got a icy red type check on the side. White check, red, red, ah, tripping. <laughs> White check, red bordering on the top of the toe box. Your tongue is a mesh. You know what I'm saying? You got Pip on the front, Pippin, with your little plastic covering on top. Black tab. You know saying on the inside, these are real. You know what I'm saying? These are the 2008 versions of it. It's the retros. You know what I'm saying you got your Nike Air on the inside. And you got a red air bubble. It's like a deep, dark red, almost like burgundy. You look on the bottom. And that's how Nike used to make shoes back in the day. If you remember the Dion's, they had Dion's picture in them. You know what I'm saying? You got the see-through air bubble on the bottom with air in it. Nike check and the icy zigzag design on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? These are one of my favorite shoes. It took me a while to find these, you know what I'm saying? But I found them on my one of my favorite spots, eBay. Dead stock. I got them for the loo. So yeah. Other shoes the same. And uh of course, let's take it to the foot. And these are the Air Pippins. A lot of people don't know about these, man. But these shoes were one of the hardest shoes back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Well, back in the day, I'm just, it's, it's a shame they don't get the love that they, that they did back then. But I'm happy to get my hands on them. But let's take a closer look. There they are from the top. your front view the side and the back yep there you go so there y'all have it man Jordan and Pippen reunited. One more time. If not on the court, the shoes live on, man. Appreciate y'all checking me out. And don't forget, man, check the Facebook page out. The Sneaker Soul. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who's been asking to see my collection, I'm going to slowly upload some of the collection on there. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to be giving tips on shoes. Where you can find stuff for the low, where I get my shoes from, all that, man. And it's a place basically to show love, man. Because people get on these YouTube, I mean, on these YouTube pages, they get a few subscribers, get the big head, they don't reply to your messages, they don't even talk to you, man. And that's not me, you know what I'm saying? I'm only doing this because I love shoes and I like to show my love for it. So, you know what I'm saying? If y'all in it with me, y'all want to know whatever y'all want to know, just let me know, man. Ask on that page, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get away from. People send the messages on YouTube because I don't get them all the time. And sometimes I don't even get people's comments. So it takes me a while to reply back because I look on YouTube and I'm like, oh, I never got I never got an email from it. So like I said, man, just hit me up on the Facebook. I definitely get that all the time and I answer your questions and whatever you have from me, man. But it's your boy Chef, man. Until the next one, y'all be easy, man. Peace.